In this video, we will learn all about angle bisectors. First, let's review what an angle bisector is. If we have an angle, an angle bisector is a line or a line segment or array that bisects the angle. That means it cuts it exactly in half so that this angle would be congruent to this angle. Now an interesting property about angle bisectors is if you pick any point on the angle bisector, for example this point, this point will be equidistant from the two sides of the angle. So that means the shortest distance from that point to this side of the angle, which would have to be a line segment perpendicular to that angle side, is the same distance as the shortest distance to the other side of the angle, which again would have to be a perpendicular line segment. So that means these two segments are congruent. And it will be the same no matter where you pick this point. So if you pick a point down here and try to figure out the shortest distance from this point to the bottom part of the angle, which would have to be a perpendicular line, and same thing over here, these two line segments will be congruent. The converse of this property is also true. So if you have an angle and you have a line that you don't necessarily know is the angle bisector, but you do know that there's a point on the line that is equidistant from the two parts of the angle. That means that this original line must be the angle bisector. So in other words, if these things that I've marked are true, if this segment is the same as this segment and both are perpendicular, meaning that this point is equidistant from the two sides of the angle, then these two little angles must be congruent because it must be an angle bisector. Something interesting happens when you take a triangle and find the angle bisector for each of the three angles in the triangle. Let's go into Geometer's Sketchpad to investigate this. In Geometer's Sketchpad, we're starting out with just a random triangle. This triangle can be moved around to make any triangle that we want. Now what I'm going to do is construct the angle bisector for each of the three angles in this triangle. Here we have the three angle bisectors drawn in. And something interesting happened. All three angle bisectors intersect in a point, and this point is called the in-center of the triangle. And even if we move the triangle around, notice that those three lines still intersect in one point. And you have to appreciate that that is unusual. Usually when you have any three random lines, they will not all intersect in the same point. If you notice this point, the in center is always inside of the triangle, no matter how I move the triangle around. And there's something else interesting about this in center point. The in center is actually the center of a circle that intersects all three sides of the original triangle. So I'm gonna construct this circle now and notice that it exactly hits all three sides of the triangle. No matter how I move the triangle around, that circle stays exactly inside the triangle and always touches all three sides. This means that the in center is equidistant from all three sides of the triangle. So it's the same distance away from all three sides of the triangle. So the three angle bisectors of a triangle intersect at a point called the in-center. And the in-center is interesting because it's the center of a circle that passes through all three sides of the original triangle, and the in-center is equidistant from each side of the triangle.